Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name is Tom. And I am Mike. And today we're cracking open a new bottle of Angel's Envy Triple. I was going to go through the whole Kentucky yeah. Straight Bourbon Whiskey, but I stopped myself <laughs> on that one. So, all right. So this one's just, it just recently came out. So I uh, figured we, we had to try one. We've never had one that's been anything in a triple oak department. So I never even heard of that Hungarian stuff. So No. So we'll get through the particulars of it, and then we'll get into the good and the bad. So here you go. This one comes in. We bought this one for $75.99. It is 92 proof. Uh, the distillery is out of Kentucky, and it's bottled out of at the Louisville Distillery Company in Louisville, Kentucky. Also, uh, so it starts out as regular Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, and then it's finished in oak casks from around the world, as as they had it on their website. So it is a, in a toasted Hungarian chin capen in a French oak barrel is what they triple oaked into. So I haven't heard of. The Chin Capen or the, uh, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong too, but that's the way it's spelled, but, uh, or the Hungarian one. So we'll have to see what it tastes like. French oak, we've had a bunch of different ones of, but, but when it said triple cast or triple oak. Yeah, because they I, have a little drawing on the back and they have a little card on what they are and what, what stages they went through. A little story. So if you buy the bottle, you can have <laughs> the story. You won't get the abbreviation. That's it. Why, did you want me to read the whole no, thing? No, 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 no. Like, that's not our channel, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> they, gonna... they just gave a yeah. brief. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your little blue tag if you want all the yep. information nope. that this is about. <laughs> Somebody else will give you a better one on that. I'm just going to tell you whether it tastes good or not. That's about it. But uh... I have like a love-hate relationship with Angels Every sometimes. You are on a fence. I usually am. It's not that I ever really dislike the product. I just never like their pricing. You know what I mean? No, I, that's that's basically. I think my my where the love hate usually well, comes that's, from. It's already gonna it's already gonna send you off. I'm sure when you no, see. No, I'm left looking at it. No, no, no. Like, I I already know. I already so did I, it too because I looked on a bottle and I didn't yeah. see that and I'm like. Yeah, no, no. So yeah, that's that's 76. that's. I mean, I when Steve's seen it and he got it, I go, I know it's new, and because uh, I think it just came out like this month actually. I, I think it's like brandy new. And uh, when he's seen it, and I'm like, you know, just grab it because, you know, I just, it's not the proof you're looking for usually. No. I haven't tried it though, so I can't really comment yet, but let's see. I mean, do love the bottle. I mean, they, they get a, they get an A plus for the it bottle. It does stand design, out. No sure. matter where you oh, are, yeah. you can see, you, you can see it a mile away. You know. And one of our local vendors, it's, it's one of their store picks all the time that you happen mm -hmm. to like mm -hmm. this, this vendor. I am going to throw out four roses when I talk to them, though, and see if they can do it. Those people that love that, that love these people love these people. Don't get me wrong. They don't mm -hmm. care what price it comes in at. So, uh, I mean, you can't beat the, the, the angel wings on the back. You see no, them through the no, front. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful design. It's, it's it like does, you said, does stand on out. a shelf. It's mm -hmm. like, what is that? You know? i got to be honest with you, though. That first sip, I didn't hate it. I didn't no, hate it, any it, it actually it has a nice oaky presence it's, on the end. It's, it kind of reminded me of the Penelope a little bit, of the architect. I can see that. It, I mean, it, that it, is finished it, in a French oak. You had but, nice sweet oak. At it the was. End of this it, obviously, it's way tamer. Right. This this was this is this would be a invisible bottle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, was, this one's not going to hang around long if you had it out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have the to... downfall of it. <laughs> Don't worry about his neighbor. You know, it, it <laughs> just doesn't. It, it. I swear, he knows I'm filming. And he, he's. It, you know, it happens every time. But. uh no, that second sip was actually very good. I, I, I see what you're saying. I, they, and I think you you get the architect feel because there is such an oaky presence. There is. And that's what that, that really I, I was thinking, I thought it maybe even in the nose, though, I would get, I'd never heard of those other two, Chin Capen and, and, and the Hungarian Chin Capen or whatever they all are. I thought there'd be a little tweak to it, a little, but it's, I'm not really. It's a different smell on the nose, though. Not I'm outrageous. Getting, no, it's not, but it, the more it sits in the glass, that's why I'm kind of just stalling a little bit anyways on the. Although it just started, but like, because at first I wasn't getting much out of the glass, but now they've had a couple me, sips. It's weird because I'm kind of like getting a light fruit more in the nose than than any oak. You, are, what are you getting nuts today? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not getting any nuts. I'm not getting any fruit. I can tell you that. It seems pretty light. 
There's a nice spice. I don't know what the mash bill is on this one, though, but there's a nice, like, like pop rocky spice. For a 92 proof, it has a nice little pop rocky feel on your on the on the back of my tongue right before I swallow. I don't know if that's the, uh, if there is a nice rye spice in it. This is changing in there's, a glass, there's, though. There's nothing, there's nothing it. on a no, it, tell you. No, so. there was no, I didn't get a mash bill when I looked it up real quick either, but. I'm. I'm I'm really not disappointed in the flavor. A little on the proof and and definitely on the price would be the only downfall, I guess, for, for me. Um, you know, and I wouldn't even hate the proof if it uh, if you it's know, got a pretty the, decent flavor. Seventy five you know, smack is is up there. Yeah, it is. It is finished in in, in two I hear three you. different woods. I I understand. I, I don't think this is going to be a big sale with a lot of our group. It, well, no, well, I, I actually that'd be a good segue into that. Leave a comment down below if if you guys are. I mean, there's a lot of people that just like Angel's Envy, and they they're not. They're not it doesn't matter because none of their stuff is cheap. No, they're, none it's, of it's, it's cheap. No, I agree. Everything that the, they have is expensive. Let's be honest. But it, it, and the triple oak does intrigue you because we've never really. I don't. I've never done one. No. I don't think we've, we've not done one on a channel. So no. That and then when you hear what they are, that was totally different. No, so. and and that's why I I, I kind of. The more I hemmed and hot on it, the more I kept thinking. I'm like, you know what? I want to try it. I want to see. And I was it almost thinking, is. is it going to go to the land, we, which we haven't done in eons? Um, the company, the ones the girls made with the pressed, one day old, whatever. What was that company? Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland. Remember they had all the different woods that they pressed or whatever. Yeah, but they, that would that that was the, they expressed it. Though. Yeah, yeah. They they did that. I forget what it's called, but where they they can age something for a day, and it's it's like a year. Equals equals. Yeah. yeah. yeah I was no. thinking maybe maybe with the different woods like this, maybe we're going to see something or have something different like that as a flavor. I'm not really getting it. No, I'm not. No, I was wondering that That's too. Where I was like, going. was Sorry. it going to get like a tannic taste <laughs> well, on it and that. stuff like that, where you're getting like a where it's bitter and stuff? There's none yeah. of that going on. It does turn into. There's a nice sweet. The only difference is, is there's definitely a. I'm not. There's a difference a huge pop on the nose. I, I, I did. I, it's not huge. It's only 92 proof, but it has a nice little rye spice to it. Is all I was saying on that. But, um, I mean, in the nose though, there is a, there is a little tweak that I just can't pinpoint what it is. But I, I just switch that everywhere, and you're right. There, there is a little bit of a tingle when you do that. Mm -hmm. I just did it front the first time, but. Yeah, no. So I've been rolling on my tongue. I mean, I I will say, you know, because sometimes when you get a ninety two proof, it just drinks like water. When you roll it around on your tongue, it, the flavor lasts. It, it, it does. It, it, it does hang around. It has, has a it, nice yeah. oaky presence at the end. It does. So there is there is a, a kind of like I I can't call it like a one note because it does have like a caramel in the front. And it kind of does finish off with a little bit more of an oak, but it's not. Being that it's finished in three different oaks, I was wondering if it was going to be too much oak. Where you're like, no, nah. you know, like like oak and Egan, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's bitter and it's it's like, yeah, I don't like that. Did we did we end up picking another one up? Oh, that was there's another one over there. Yeah, it's been sitting there for months now, so that's good and old aged with their little spiral mm -hmm. in it for sure. Yeah, when well, you bought it, you bought two, so that thing's been over there for probably well over a year now. They, they told me they were they're on a time release and they just stopped. Yeah, good luck with that theory. <laughs> Speaking of which, we got one time releasing yeah, on yeah. one of the bottles up I here did, that we're going to have to go back and try. I forgot about that one. That's mm -hmm. been at least a month now, too. You know what? Flavor-wise, I actually like this a lot. I, I, again, I hate it, the price. You know what I mean? It, and because of the proof. You know, yeah. even if this was, you know, even if they bumped it to 100, at least it would make me feel better. Like, 92 just, just seems, seems like a slap in the face, but... Because it... It wouldn't last. No, but no, I guess that's, I mean, getting not that 100 is a lot more than that anyways. I mean, but for flavor-wise, taste-wise, everything about it, this is actually very good. I'll be curious what you guys think, because I know there's a lot of you that are going to be like, it's under 100, I want no part of it. And I 100% and, and, agree with you. And it's 76 I, Mackies. But that's the key. You know what I mean? Like, if, if this, I understand it's finished in three different woods, so I get it. But if, but then even the regular the regular bottle is, I think, 92 proof, and it's, in, and it's not finished in anything. And it's still up with some... 60, 60 bucks. I was gonna say probably 60. So they didn't really raise their price that much more than what they already charge, anyways. No, this I is probably you. a $30 bottle, you know what I mean? I'm like, curious. I'm going probably tomorrow to the other store and they yeah. have their store pick. I'll see where that's at. Yeah, but I, I want to say that it's not going to be at 92. I think they're they usually have it up. 
Well, because even the last time they had a store pick, it was it was it was like a hundred and something when they came out of it. Like if it came in at that, I'd be whistling Dixie Mm -hmm. on this one. Mm -hmm. And not that I'm a proof hound, but I mean this is very good for what it it is. It does carry some flavor, and it does hang on. It would be nicer if it hung around a little bit longer, it and gave you a little bit. I don't know. It does have. It does remind me a a little bit though of the Penelope. It does, but the Penelope is fifty nine dollars and one hundred and four proof. That that's the that's the kicker. I <laughs> no, mean, I, as so, a direct comparison, well, that's I, the kicker. I, I mean, it's I, just way more. I know I'm not helping me. you yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or myself yeah. in my analogy. Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to. It, yes. It's similar, but I I got to be honest with you. It, it hasn't sat me back in my chair like Penelope. Every time I drink it, I'm like, oh no, that's nice. But this I, is I wonder, good though. But I, I think Penelope would because this you know with that though like the remember the original one we did it before we jumped up into the barrel proofs and all that. That we hated, this this would smoke it. Yeah, but that that wasn't even finished. That was just the white label Penelope yeah. you're talking about. But yeah, that was also thirty two dollars. It was white label. Was it that? Yeah, yeah, it was cheap. It was right. cheap. Well, then, it was uh, expensive for us back then because we weren't spending that kind of money. But it, that's not a that. Yeah, don't even buy that one. The white label one is not good. This has a nice oaky presence, and the longer it keeps sitting in the glass, the better it keeps getting. It, it, so it is. I'll be interested to see. I'll have to hide this one from me. Stick it behind a big bottle in the back or something like that. Let this open up a yeah, little it's bit. Tall, right? it's yeah, yeah, a rough it, one. It, yeah. I'll have to hide it put, in the corner of the room somewhere. Put it behind. Put it up high so I can't reach put it. Put it behind Sinatra so you won't see oh, it. Oh yeah, exactly. But uh, as far as because um, there is a nice oaky presence going on there, so we'll have to see. I think we have a couple a couple low proofers over there. Anyways, we could throw it up against. But uh, as far as you know, the oaky presence, I agree with you. When you start seeing some weird oaks, because there's actually a lot of new oaks finishes this year. We haven't even done, I, there's been some in a sack now for a few months that I, I keep saying, I got to get these out because I want to see what it tastes like. Mm. You know, because when we went Amberana and it was like, oh my goodness, that is just 100% cinnamon toast crunch. I was wondering if some of these other woods were going to give some kind of a funk to it. You know what I mean? That made it, because remember we had that honeysuckle or whatever it was, honey yeah. honey yeah. locust. Yeah, honey you know, locust, which you know, we did look the up Cleveland. the tree, which is weird. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know if these were, because that gave a little twang to it too. You it know, did. Remember it had a weird no, flavor. No, and I, that's why I was, when yeah. I seen these, I thought maybe it would jump there, but it didn't. I, I didn't anyway. It, I kind of jumped back to. This is this has got way more caramel flavor than it did when we first poured it, it too. Is, so it this is, is going to open up, which is going to be good, because this is getting better in a glass the longer it sits in it. So, and I can almost see your fruit. I'm almost, I'm almost going to a cherry it, now. It was, it was. Not light, so much was, a maritino cherry. No, it was a, a lighter little, yeah. lightness in the, in the front. Yeah. So. Uh, again, this keeps getting better as it goes. I, you know, I'm going to have to figure out something to throw this in for Way wine going. to see well, where it goes on there. So, yeah, what do we want to grade it? Don't look at the price. Don't look I, at the proof. You just got this in no, a blind and you're like, you know I, what? I, Because I, I, I'm not disappointed with everything but that. I, I'm probably at like a B minus. Uh, I'm like C plus B minus. I'm not disappointed. I, I wouldn't want 10 of these. I wouldn't. Not, I would I would take ten glasses of these, but I wouldn't have. Well, that's a, what I'm saying. Of these yeah. on my shelf, no, just because that. of the cost situation. But it's I don't know. In price and proof, where you go. The drink, I was a minus B plus actually. I, I think this is very good. It's good. It has it for what it is. It hangs and stuff like that. Would it get crushed by most of the other ones that we have over there because of proof? Yes, and that's where it's lacking. So that's why I went down to. But I mean. At the very least, if you want to go, I, I, maybe a solid B. I mean, this is this is tasty. Like, we've had some it, it, it is recently tasty. that are just not good. You know no, what I mean? I, I can't put that. this in the same category as that one we got from, from Uncle Nearest or, or the one from Massachusetts. Yeah, but did we give that a B? It wasn't in the C's? Yeah, what did you just say? C plus? Oh, B minus. Oh, same thing. <laughs> B minus. Well, we did that. What, what was the one we just did? Where, where she, the, if the, you want to go B, yeah. we can go I B. I, I, I so it's I, again, it's it's always different to factor in. Yes, I I guess you are correct because I do factor in the price and in the price. yeah. I don't like any of that. But as far as what this actually tastes like, I mean, this is this is this is solid. This is a solid drink. I don't it, like it the is. Proof. I don't like the price, but it it drinks good. We can put it in a B, and I I think if we put it up against some of our Bs, it's probably going to get crushed because of the proof. But and and let, that's okay with that. I'm okay with that. Though. Right. I mean, we're gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to put it up against though, because we got a couple double oaks, you know, that we just recently did too. Mm. So we'll have to throw that, throw it up against some of the double oaks and see and how it, it actually right pans there. out too. You know what I mean? And as far as proof and stuff like that. It, I mean, so, it is flavorful. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're shitting on the proof, but fucking wood for double oak is ninety point four. So it's got it by one and a half. You know what I mean? So in all reality, but well, there you well, go. It's again, not that, it's not that price. Again, I hate the price. I, I can't harp on that enough. But you know what? Angel 70 is expensive. 
that, yeah, that's yeah. that's part of the problem with with that with that whiskey, anyways. You know, as far as what they offer. So okay, B. but there you go. Again, leave a comment down below what you guys think. If you have tried this, leave a comment too about that on there. I can't wait to see how this opens opens up because I just on smelling it, it it seems to be doing some good things because uh, it is know. changing. Yeah. So I, I, can you I get a huge open I, nose though? You were gone for three and a half months, and uh, while you were gone, Steve and I we did the two XO and we did the like the the Blue Note Crossroads, which is finishing a French oak, and there was significantly difference in there. And I yeah. think this one would hang with all of them. You know what I mean? So it'll be interesting to see when we put them in a blind. We just kind of drank them back to back, and I was like, "Well, that's way better than that one." You know, mm. type of a deal. Sometimes you know that's, I mean? it's it's it does help. Yeah, not, not even just clear and just go bing, 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 and then you're like, "Oh, that's." This yeah. one stands out. That's this is yeah. We, it was like going up a ladder. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. And we ended with Penelope. We were like, winner. You know what I mean? So, well, there you go. This one is the Angels Envy Triple Oak. Again, leave a comment down below if you have tried it, or if, again, leave a comment if it's like, yeah, it's ninety two proof. I'm good. You know what I mean? For this proof, this price, I, I would probably never buy it again. In fact, if I ha didn't have the channel and I didn't want to get a new bottle out, I don't think I would have grabbed this one. You know what I mean? It, it's kind of like that 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 the Elijah Craig toasted that I fought forever because it's just such a low proof compared to the other ones you can get. Uh, and you know, it's right up there. Yeah. With so the barrel proof. You know. Well, there you go. There's our review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less, drink more. Cheers. Cheers.